Big Ten Expansion. Now, you know we love discussing the expansion rumors. It's always interesting to think about what the college football universe could look like when things move around, etc., when teams move to different conferences, the kind of matchups that we can get. Because it's fun to think about the idea of USC going and playing in Ann Arbor against Michigan. It's fun to think about UCLA going to the big house and that being a conference game, right? So when these moves happen, it becomes uh, you just want more, right? You want to see what else could be out there. If Oregon were to jump in, Oregon heading to Happy Valley to play against Penn State, or you have uh, Michigan State traveling to Los Angeles or to Washington, which we're going to actually see earlier this year or early in the season this year. But we did get a little bit of stuff from... Kevin Warren, who told the Action Network, he is, of course, the Big Ten Commissioner, he told the Action Network, Brett McMurphy, besides Notre Dame, a handful of schools would add value to the Big Ten. Now, I have been harping for quite some time about the idea that I don't know how much more value there could be when you expand uh, past 16 teams, right? Because you might be cutting into what the per school revenue would be. I I don't know exactly what these numbers might be. Uh, He did say that others that are being considered are, or at least sources have said, others considered Oregon, Washington, Stanford, Cal, Miami, and FSU, Florida State. And the quote from Kevin Warren is, we're not messing around. I don't want to be Sears and Roebuck. You're already not Sears and Roebuck. You are one of the two power conferences in all of FBS college football. I'm not sure that you are going to get any more value out of the next iteration. I think obviously he is working closely with Fox. But at what point do you get diminishing returns? Any of those schools would look cool and would obviously add some marquee matchups. But again, you're talking about uh, devastating conferences at this point. You've already devastated the Pac-12 to a certain point, but you you take Stanford, Oregon, or Washington. Like I don't know what Cal necessarily brings, uh, other than the academics, etc. Uh, but it is another team to take some losses, which we have discussed on this show as being incredibly important, so that the haves that are used to winning will continue to do so. You will continue to have that win on the schedule. And Cal could come in, keep your academics high, be aligned, eh, maybe politically and academically. And along with that, you bring in the other ones, Stanford, Washington, Oregon, Miami, Florida State, whoever. uh, You're bringing a marquee name along with them. That would Two more would bump you up to 18. Four more would bump you up to 20. So if those are the schools that the Big Ten is interested in bringing in, Somebody has to lose at some point. Yes, you've got Rutgers. Yes, you've got Maryland, Indiana, et cetera. You've got some that are already built in to take losses. You bring in too many of those big-time schools, and that's that's the mini NFL side of this, NFL light, if you will, that I don't know that everybody is fully understanding. I'm incredibly curious what the point of diminishing returns would be. That's my question. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.